All right, I've been thinking about this all day. I just did that uh, hike uh, from uh, Santos Trail to Baseline. That was my favorite hike, but uh, unfortunately the deer flies are out. And be no more hiking in shorts for me. They, they were biting on my legs and man, those things hurt. Oh man, so I'm gonna have to pull out the hiking pants and uh, I noticed let's get the trail. Things are starting to grow up uh, here in Florida. So uh, I'm gonna be limited in places I can go at this point. But I just wanted to make, this is going to be uh, the whole world's gone flipping crazy video. <laughs> just Because these things are on my brain. I was just like, oh my God. Has, has everybody lost their damn minds? You know, I, I don't even know where to begin. But uh, I guess let's just start with the, uh, the Facebook story. Okay, so Project Veritas, they're going to be coming out with some sort of revelation about Facebook or fake book. I call it fake book tonight. And, uh, you know, how they've been... Uh, using their algorithms to suppress certain things that were true. They knew they were true. And, uh, but I mean, the, the question that I got to ask, number one, why are you still on Facebook? You know they're going to censor you or they're going to guide you to whatever their political agenda is. Uh, if that doesn't agree with yours, I guess if it does, I mean, maybe you want to stay on Facebook. But, I, you know, I want to hear everybody's opinion. I want, I want freedom of expression. You know you're not going to get it on Facebook, so why are you even still using it? I don't get it. Why, why even be on that platform? You know, that's the first thing. And then if you you are a stockholder, see, it used to be that corporations or even the, the tech giants, they were out to make a profit, right? Well, <laughs> if you're censoring everybody and kicking them off your platform, there goes your profits. I mean, so if you're a shareholder in the company, that's not good. I mean, because you're basically telling your shareholders, well, we don't care about profit no more. And, uh, oh, there was a squirrel. I didn't know what that was. And, uh, you know, same with Tweet. You know, who, who wants to be on Tweet? Same damn thing. They're going to they're gonna censor you. And then they, you know, and especially if you've got a business. You know, thank God I'm just an average citizen, you know, with nothing up there. I got no skin in the game and doesn't matter to me. Now, I, I do have accounts on both, but I don't, I don't ever use them. Or every now and then I might tweet a little something, you know. Who cares? I mean, I, I just, uh, I don't get it, you know. I mean, when, you know, the only interest I had in tweet was when Trump was there, you know. I wanted to see what he had to say sometimes, you know. I didn't even follow that very well. So I just don't, uh, I mean, so basically, they're killing the profits. Let's go back. Another one. Here's the NBA. The woke NBA, okay? They're going to get out there, you know, and put Black Lives Matter on the court and, you know, and uh, by the way, the, the president of Black Lives Matter just bought a couple million dollar homes. Uh, that's, uh, but, uh, you know, they're, they're all for the, the Black Lives. And uh, no, I mean, okay, let's just stay on the NBA for now. All right, so, so you're a player in the NBA. Now, the one thing that you need is, is sponsorship through uh, the TV, you know, people paying for advertisements, and you need fans. you got to have people watching your games, otherwise you're not going to make anything, right? So why are you going to go out and piss off all your fans, or at least half of them, you know, I guess the, the woke people, live, but you know, a lot of the woke people don't even watch the NBA, so the ratings are in the toilet as a result. I mean, so, so you basically slit your own daggone throat. Uh, you know, with, with all of your political uh, nonsense. And you know, the same with the NFL, same with the Major League Baseball. You think I'm ever going to watch any of those three things ever again? No. You know, the, and baseball, I admit, I mean, I enjoyed an occasional game and I really like the playoffs. But do you think I'm ever going to watch it again? No, I'm, you know, what I'm going to do is support my local baseball teams uh, in the minor leagues. And uh, those are more fun anyway, man. A lot cheaper. You get in there. They always offer some crazy special like pizza and, and, and drinks for, you know, $15. And, you know, plus that uh, covers the cost of your ticket. You know, so, so why do you want to go to a major league baseball game and give those woke idiots uh, money? I, I don't get it, you know. But they slit their own throats. All these people just don't seem to want to act in their own self-interest, uh, which is stay, you know, stay as a sport and not political. I mean, even look at uh, golf. I mean, you know, Phil, uh, I, Phil Nixon, I guess he, he just won the big tournament. And uh, they, they went back to uh, way back when he, uh, <laughs> I guess this is when Woke was really getting in. There was these, uh, they were talking about the PGA and I. Uh, he, the green was unfair and he missed the putt and then he stopped it with took the two-stroke penalty because he figured that was better than uh than just um 
uh, you know, letting the ball roll off the green and then possibly, you know, three or four putting trying to get back to the hole. So, but they thought that was terrible. Oh my God, the woke people were, you know, you just don't do that. That's uh, it, 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 illegal conduct on the golf course, you know, no, oh my God. You know, I, I didn't even remember that story. Uh, it wasn't, uh, I just listened to Rush Limbaugh today. But PG, at least the PGA has stayed non-political. You know, I don't care if you're a conservative or a little, I don't want to watch that crap in my sports, you know. So look, so what we got? We got, uh, we got, um, let's get to the corporations, all right? Uh, you got these woke corporations that are pissing people off. I, I thought corporations were out to make a profit, you know. But, and, and so here's the crazy thing. You know, they, they rattled off on, um, I think it was uh, the uh, MLB network, uh, all the corporations that contributed to uh, Biden's campaign and the Democrats, uh, and it was a whole bunch of them. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And so what, did it, what is Biden and those Democrats going to do? They're going to turn around and tax <laughs> the corporations that put them in office. And, it, you know, I understand for the corporations it doesn't mean anything. You know, you could, you could tax a corporation at 100%, and then all they're going to do is pass on the cost to their customers, which is us, you know, the, the people of the United States. And, uh, you know, if it gets too bad... Um, They'll just move it to another place that doesn't have that high taxes. So it's no sweat off their brow that they're going to get taxed. But, I mean, you caused yourself as a corporation a bunch of grief by putting the damn Democrats in office that are going to raise your damn stupid taxes. Oh, my God. And you, and you think, well, you know, these woke people are just, they're slitting their own doggone throats. Let's get to the, let's get to the pipelines. All right. So Biden, first thing he does, takes down the Keystone Pipeline. My wife, a Democrat, she said that's because... That just helps Canada, doesn't help the United States. I said, what about the 150,000 jobs that did we, we just, with the stroke of a pen, high paying jobs have got rid of in the United States? And you know you know what, it doesn't matter. I mean, and even Kamala Harris came out and said, pipelines are the best way to transport fuel. <laughs> so, but, but it gets worse. It gets worse because then Biden said, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's okay for us to shut down the pipelines. And, of course, you got the pipeline that just went down because of the so-called so ransomware attack, I guess. And uh, it's okay for us to shut down our pipelines. But Russia? Hmm. You know, Trump had put sanction on that. He, he said to, to Russia, he said, well, go ahead and build your pipeline into Germany. You know, we don't care. We don't want pipelines here in the United States, but we'll let uh, Russia build a pipeline into Germany. It's going to make Russia a lot of money. Well... <laughs> This is the guy who says that dude, Russia, dude, Russia, Russia, Russia. Trump was a, a Russian uh, spy or whatever, you know, all the thing debunked. And, uh, you know, it's so, but now Biden's going to come out and say, hey, Russia, go ahead and build your pipeline. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you just, you really just got to bang your head into a wall and go, what, what in the hell am I watching take place here? How are all these people just have lost their dang on minds? That's why I said, you know, the name of the video, you know, the whole world's gone effing crazy. <laughs> you know, that's what, I mean, that's, uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. And then, of course, you got all these poor people that voted in uh, the Democrats, especially in the cities. Okay, let's, let's, let's get on to that one. Oh, my goodness. You know, so Chicago had 49 shootings over the weekend. Uh, New York had 28. <clears throat> and they're going to defund the police. <laughs> They're basically, and that was another thing. Philadelphia just voted in a uh, progressive uh, prosecutor that uh, has promised to let all the criminals go. I mean, <laughs> what do you, can you imagine if we had, I mean, here I am in, in central Florida. If we had 48 shootings here in central Florida, I mean, I can't, well, number one, I can't imagine the police reaction. I mean, they, they'd be all over. The sheriffs would probably, you know. There'd be a lot of dead people, you know, whoever the culprits were that killed that many people, number one. And number two, I mean, the, the whole area here would just erupt. They'd be like, oh, my God, what has happened to Central Florida? You know, man, we get one death. One death. Well, we had a shooting in, I think it was Gainesville. One shooting. It was all over the news here. All over the news. One person got shot. You know, 49 in Chicago and uh, 28 in New York, and it's not even a blip on the radar. <laughs> These Democrats are unbelievable, you know, and so I mean, they're okay with that and they want to continue 
to take down the police departments and defund them. I got a guy coming up, so I'll turn around right here. And uh, I just, you know, it blows my mind. I, I, I guess the whole world's gone flipping crazy. Uh, and so I was getting back to the poor people, you know, so they voted in these Democrats and everything. So what does Biden do? He's going to spend, 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 spend. We're going to print currency until the dollar is just toilet paper. OK, but who does that hurt the most? Think about it. OK, just use your common sense. All right. Who does that hurt the most? Because you're going to get we've we already got it. You're going to have inflation. Well, what is inflation? A lot of people don't really think about this question. It's tax. You're taxing, and who are you taxing? The poor <laughs> and the middle class. They're the ones that are going to bear the brunt of inflation. The, the, the big wealthy people in the corporation, they don't give a crap about inflation. You know, they, they got plenty of money, and they'll just pass on the cost anyway. So basically, it's, it's a, a, the worst tax that you can do to a poor person. Imagine, imagine somebody trying to feed a family. And, uh, you know, they got the, it used to cost them $50 in groceries, and they're only making, let's say, $300 a week. They still got to pay the rent. They got to pay the utilities. You know, they still got to feed the kids. So, wow, now all of a sudden them groceries are going to cost $100 a week. You know, that's, uh, that's huge. That's huge to a poor person or even middle class, you know. And, and, and the other thing, the Green New Deal, let's get into that one. You know, let's, let's, uh, Let's, you know, eliminate all fossil fuels. Okay, we're, we're going to go to what? Electric cars? <laughs> so, and how are you going to generate that electricity? Oh, we're going to use wind power and solar power. Well, we've already seen how good that works <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> I wish you could see Chris Marcus on the KD Economics when he was in, in Austin, Texas, when, the, when that power outage. <laughs> he, was, he was hilarious. Oh, my God. But anyway, I mean, so... So we know wind and solar, I'm all for it. You know, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's got to be part of the solution. But uh, we, we've already eliminated all the coal plants. You know, the best way that we could go, and I, I hate to say it, I mean, we do need to come up with a way to dispose of the nuclear waste, but nuclear power plants, okay? Now, so if you want electric cars, that would be a great way to generate your fuel. Get the get the new get more nuclear power plant because the technology has advanced immensely. They're they're incredibly safe, and that is a green technology that we could use. But no, Democrats want to eliminate all fossil fuel cars and go to electric cars, but they're not talking about how they're going to generate all the electricity. <laughs> the whole world has lost its flipping mind. Oh man, I could just go on and on. I, I can't believe all the stuff that just comes out of, of Washington D.C. and uh, oh, let's get to the uh, Israeli, uh, Asian, and uh, Palestinian conflict. Okay, so so here you got the squad up on Capitol Hill, and they're talking about how the Israelis are defending themselves against the Palestinians, and and how the Palestinians are are on the right side of this because they launched over a gazillion missiles into uh, uh, to to Israel. Luckily, the Iron Dome protected. I mean, can you imagine if you lived in Israel? Okay, sirens going off, you know, rockets raining. You know, you're seeing explosions up in the air and everything else. You know, and, and so what, if, what does Israel got to do? They got to retaliate. But it's kind of like Rush Limbaugh said, until one side or the other wins, that conflict will never be resolved. And then so what did, what did the Democrats do? They forced Israel into a damn <coughs> uh, ceasefire. So now what's going to happen? The Palestinians are going to build up their weapons again. Iran's going to give them everything they need. And there's going to be another conflict another year down the road. You know, you're not solving the problem. You know, the, the only way that that thing, that thing's going to get resolved is one side or the other just goes in and wipes the other one out, you know. I'm not promoting that type of thing. I'm, I'm not saying, but I'm just telling you. Uh, or, you know, we can somehow merge the two so that they can live together in harmony some kind of way. I don't even know how you would do that because the Palestinians hate the Israelis. So let's get to the, the latest thing is now we're, we're, we're out hating Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever seen anything in my lifetime that has target Asians as as uh, as hate. Uh, you know, I, I haven't, even, haven't even seen it for blacks. You know, I mean, I, there's no hate. I mean, I don't know where the hell they come up with this stupid stuff. I mean, so, but, but, hey, anti-Semitism, okay? You can go out and beat up a Jew. That's okay. 
you know, if you're a Democrat, you can go out and beat up a Jew. If you're Palestinian, you can beat up a Jew. And, uh, you know, there's no legislation saying we need to protect the Jews. No, that's okay in, in Democrats' minds. I, you know, I just, the whole world has lost its flipping mind. Uh, so, oh, man, I tell you, I could just go on and on, you know, and Biden is going to raise taxes again on everybody. And, you know, and, and here's another thing. Oh, man, this just pisses me off to no end. So here we got all of these Democrats moving into Florida because they're fleeing. They're, they're abandoning New York. They're abandoning California. They're abandoning all these Democrat places. And they come here and they want to vote Democrat. <laughs> just left the damn democrats why the hell are you going to come to florida and you know vote democrat because you came here to be free and you know and basically have low taxes but now you're going to vote in the same stupid people that you just left to get away you know i just man i'm telling you the whole world has lost its flipping mind all right that's i guess that's just it i i just i just had to get all that off my chest this is a rant i mean it's a rant i i admit it i uh i just i I just can't see where the world's making any sense these days. Uh, this, isn't this pretty? I mean, this this is my community hike. I, I would have gotten it on the trail today, uh, the video, but I just didn't want to haul the phone with me, you know, for a whole day of hiking. I just wanted to get out and get some exercise. So, but I just figured I'd come here and make this video because it's just been weighing on my brain. Can't wait to see what Project Veritas comes out with, but does it really matter? I mean, who wants to use Facebook? I, you know, don't watch the NBA, don't watch MLB, don't watch fake book, you know, you don't have to boycott Co Woka Cola, but you know, it's a high fructose corn syrup, you should probably stay away from it anyway, so, so what do you, why do you want to drink Coke? I don't get it, I mean, it's, it's killing you, that high fructose corn syrup is evil, it goes right into your bloodstream, you know, there's no processing, your body doesn't even get to process it, uh, so that was an easy one, you know, Delta Airlines, what are you going to fly Delta for? You know, they, they condemn Georgia for, for putting in some reasonable... Oh, here, guys, there's another one. Voter ID, okay? <laughs> you got you to gotta have an ID to buy cigarettes. You got to have an ID to buy e-cigarettes. You got to have an ID to, to get into the uh, congressional building. You got to have an ID. You got to have an ID for every damn thing on the universe, but you don't have to have an ID to vote. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. And Democrats are for it. Oh my goodness, I don't know if YouTube will take this video down. They probably will, but uh, if not, I'll just put it up on Rumble, or I'll put it up on both. So, all right, you guys, have a peace out, have a good one. Just wanted to, to make a rant video here, and uh, enjoy enjoy the day. I mean, it's, this is the last day that we're probably going to get here in Florida that you can get out and do hiking for a while. It's supposed to get up into the upper 90s from this point on. So I see they got the flags out for Memorial Day in that in that nice here in the community, and we still respect our veterans and our police. Uh, you know we haven't defunded them, and uh, we didn't have 49 shootings like they did in Chicago. If you know if you're a Democrat, move to Chicago. Uh, oh yeah, there was another one. Dang on it, Kirk. All right, so I, and this is just personal. Um, two two people I've met recently have lost uh, children to uh, fentanyl. Uh, because the Mexican cart, because Biden opened up the border and Democrats, they want all the illegal aliens to pour across and they're bringing in uh, lots and lots of illegal drugs. And uh, they're, they're disguised, you know, it's Oxycontin, but, it, you know, you don't know that it's laced with the fentanyl to give it, a, I guess, a bigger kick. But the, uh, the mixing is, um, I guess it's not going well because I know personally, and I don't, you know, I don't socialize, man, I don't hang out much, but two, two people I, whose daughters and sons have died. And uh, from from overdose uh, just by taking an oxycotton laced with fentanyl. So uh, I, I so here's the you know once again you know, you would think that the drug cartels uh, you know they they just want to make money right. So if you're killing your customers, <laughs> that's a, that can't be good for business. You know I mean I I, I you know it's it's, it's kind of like uh, fake book. You know they're getting rid of all their customers. So hey, can, I, can you see that sun? Isn't that beautiful? or the moon, I'm sorry, uh, kind of in the sky right there. Looks like we're going to have almost a full moon here tonight. That's what I love about being here. All right, so that's, uh, that, that, that was another one, that, that the, how the drug cartels are killing all their customers. You know, and by the way, you need to get those statistics. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people dying from all of those drugs pouring across the border that Biden and uh, Kamala Harris seem to want to 
to just kill as many Americans as possible from what I can tell because they ain't doing anything about it so all right man you guys uh that's it for sure I, I was I I almost forgot about the the drug cartels because they're slitting their own throats so the Democrats slit their own throats with the fossil fuels because now all of them that own SUVs and other vehicles they're gonna pay more in gas the Democrats slit their own throats because of inflation so now they're gonna pay more for their food and everything else but the problem is the rest of us suffer along with them you know the conservatives and uh, so we're gonna have to pay pay the same bills but you know you'd think that they would just want to vote for their own damn self-interest that's uh, the whole world's gone flipping mad, people. Whole world's gone flipping mad.